I hope he's ready. Hey boy. Hey boy. Hey boy. Hey boy. Hey boy. Hey boy. Push it bigger. Hey boy. Part of my blood, you know, and there's lives that's easier, but there's none the more fun to me than I enjoy doing what I do. People ask me all the time, when are you going to retire? And I say, oh, when they bury me. Terry Tootin was born on March 1st, 1948 in Ocala, Florida, to Hugh C. and Ethel H. Tootin. He's been a lifetime resident of Marion County. And my sisters and myself, when we coming up, we worked and we worked hard at it. Because, I mean, my, my dad and my mother both expected us to be right there working just like everybody else. We all had to work, and I mean, we worked hard. And I thank them for that. They taught us how to work and how to be honest. And honest my parents were. They were, they was, they were very, very honest people, and, and we got a lot of fond memories with my, you know, fishing with my dad and hunting with my dad, and I got a lot of fond memories with my mama. But she was a very, very phenomenal person. And uh, I heard my dad say several times that he wouldn't be where he was today if it wasn't been for her. Terry married his wife, Suzanne, on April 11th, 1971 on Easter Sunday, and together they raised a family and forged their own path. Well, she was, she was pretty. That was one thing. <laughs> but I don't know, she, just, she and I just kind of hit it off and got along well and just had a good time together. Laughed a lot. Well, laughed a lot and had a lot of good times. And it's just, it's been an interesting road, but I can tell you it's, it's been a good road. It's been a real good road. One of the things that attracted me, and I honestly can remember walking down the aisle and thinking, this is a man I can live with forever. And it was because of his honesty, his integrity, but he's also very determined and he works hard. He's probably, many of our friends have often said he's probably the hardest working man they know. But he wants it to be fun. He wants to enjoy life. He appreciates life. He appreciates the small things in life. Uh, family is everything to him. Our children, our grandchildren, our parents. He made sure he cared for his mother, you know, when she was widowed up into age of 101, you know, he checked on her every day. And it, that's just the kind of person he is. When he sees another farmer in trouble or needing help, he's he's the first one to go to him. And uh, sometimes to the surprise of many people because they don't expect it. They they haven't had that before. But he'll he'll do what he can to help someone who will help themselves. He's a man of his word. If he tells you something, it's gonna get done. You don't have to worry about it. Very honest. Don't ask his opinion if you don't wanna get your feelings hurt because he's gonna give you uh, his opinion. But uh, he's a very honest person, hard worker. Uh, I think of a man who is admired uh, by many folks um, within our community and our industry. Uh, he's a man of passion, heritage, uh, faith and family. Uh, I guess I met Terry probably about night in the 60s, two, three, or four, right along in there. Uh, I think I carried a load of fertilizer to his daddy, and Terry was with him. They had an old, I believe it was a blue GMC pickup truck that his daddy went everywhere in, and he's raised a good family. They're all honest people, hardworking people, and uh, Terry's the kind of person you can go to if you need something. And he's got it, you can get it. Terry's farm is a generational family farm. He has worked hard to protect and grow, etching his name in the heart of Marion County. His passion and dedication for our land and community is unquestioned by the many lives he's touched and impacted. Terry is known to many as a great friend, always available whenever you need him the most. He's genuine. He's uh, he he's today what he, who he was yesterday, and he'll be tomorrow who he is today. Speaking from experience, he'll come to your rescue when you're in need, and if necessary, he'll he'll bring his crew. He's uh, 
He's as good a friend as I have, and um, and not only to me, but to a lot of other people. He is a very genuine, dedicated person that will do anything in the world for you. Great family man, great friend, a mentor to a lot of younger guys like me. Well, not young anymore, but uh, he's been a great mentor to a lot of guys. The, the things that I've been able to uh, experience with Terry through committees and boards we served on together um, is some of the things that I'll cherish for a long time. And, and hopefully I can be kind of that guiding light and to the next generation like he has been to us. Done a lot for the community. I mean, a lot for these kids around with the uh, Southeastern Youth Fair and just, he's just that kind of person. I mean, he's just, he's always been a giving person and he likes to do things for people. Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, friends and family both is something you have to work at. It don't it don't just come and stay. I mean, you you it's got it's got to flow both ways. And uh, we've been very fortunate to to have the have the friends and keep the friends that we've had. Uh, because you know it, it's something we've worked at. Because of those who have supported him, Terry wants to continue giving back to the community. His biggest desire is that young ones learn to love and preserve our land and pass on that love to future generations. He has, he has lived agriculture. He, he, he has supported agriculture. He is agriculture. And uh, he loves Marion County. He supports Marion County. And um, to me, I think he is the epitome of why the Marion County Agriculture Hall of Fame was, was started, to recognize people like him that actually have done so much for not only their families, but for our uh, county, our state, and our country. And they'd see Terry, and they knew Terry would give them good advice and not, you know, mislead them. And, and uh, but he's had a lot of, you know, influence on the young people growing up, you know, through the years. Well, Mr. Terry's impact on the agriculture industry, I don't know that can, it can be measured. He's, uh, he's done countless things for especially youth and people that uh, are a part of the industry, but the youth for the Southeastern Youth Fair, he loves to help those kids and to provide show steers and to be there you know, to work the shows and the sales. And then to also, at the same time, sponsor the events at the Southeastern Youth Fair and then purchase animals from all the, sh all the sales. So he, he truly enjoys you know, helping people, but really helping the youth. Yeah, it, it, it's a lot to juggle too with, with school and all. I mean, those kids spend a lot of time with those animals and you know, sh practice showing them and getting them ready for the fair. I mean, it's, it's a lot to do. They give a steer to North Marion High School FFA for their project. He may give more than one, I don't know, but I know in the past he has given them. And if it was wild, they carried it back to him and got another one. <laughs> he never wants any recognition. Everything that he does is a lot behind the scenes that affects so many people in a positive way. They probably don't know where it came from. I'd sit there and watch his sale, and then there'd be a kid come in there that couldn't get a bed. Couldn't couldn't hardly get a bed, you know. And it, it, I think. Here this kid's got the price of the calves, got the price of the feed, and he's done all this work and this kind of stuff. And I just kind of got started buying calves that nobody would nobody would, would bid on because, you know, they didn't have the contacts or didn't make the contacts. And, you know, I, I don't know what their problem was, but, you know, I, I bought a lot of calves like that. I did it to help the child. His leadership in the community has been demonstrated time and time again. Terry's been a part of many local organizations, including time as the steer chairman of the Southeastern Youth Fair. Terry also served as past president of the Marion County Cattlemen's Association. He was on the Marion County Farm Bureau's board of directors, and he's a member of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. He was selected as the Young Farmer of the Year for the Marion County Chamber of Commerce in 1974. And in 2021, the Southeastern Youth Fair was dedicated to Terry. Terry recognizes the fact he couldn't have done it alone. Through the support of his friends, families, and peers,
Terry has made an indelible impact on Marion County. But I, I can tell you, there's a lot of people being inducted into the Hall of Fame that have been an inspiration to me. And they've helped, they, they've also helped guide me where I am today. And this is beyond my wildest dream that I would ever get anything like this. This is, this is something I never expected and I've been blessed with it. To, to have people to guide me and, and uh, believe in me to, to see that things go on. It's a new challenge every day. I mean, I, I do, I love what I do. I, I do, I love what I do. Terry Tudin is the 2022 inductee to the Marion County Agricultural Hall of Fame.